Hello all 50 or so people that watch these editorials, I'm back for another Valentine's Day special. Oh hey, I thought you would have jumped ship a while back. Oh ye of little faith, I have nowhere to go ever since you almost scrapped me after creation. Sucks to be you. Anyways, I was going to talk about Sundries, so you can move along. I was going to talk about Sundries for Valentine's Day, so you can move along, idiot. Let's just do this together again. Like we said, we'll be looking at the tsundere. For those of you who don't know, tsundere is a combination of two terms in Japanese, soon-soon and dere-dere. Soon-soon meaning cold or blunt, while dere-dere being love-struck. I don't think we need to go over it since I'm sure people have seen other videos on this before. Though there aren't really any articles on this topic, other than some essays on how people saw a couple talk to one another without sound, Getting back on track, tsundere's are distinguishable from other romantic interests because of how they act, usually having some sort of hatred or dislike to a character, but have feelings for them when they are alone. With this hatred, it can lead to some comedic moments. These moments can include the always funny physical abuse or whack over the head, or even the accidental pervert. Plus, tsundere's can also be a little cute, especially when they blush, look away, and hide their feelings. Another reason why tsundere's are liked is because of their character development or progression. It's an easy one to write as the plots for progression are fairly simple. Love interest hates or attacks the main character. Love interest thinks over their feelings in private while getting flustered about it in public. Love interest confesses out of annoyance by other characters or in private after fully accepting their emotions. End story with them together and happy. Or have them heartbroken but happy for their friend who ends up with the main character. Yes, it is a very formulaic and easy to do, but you can work in a lot of smaller stuff to make it a good story. But it's not as fun or exciting as writing a yandere story. Fun fact, I have actually written a yandere character in a published story. Now that we've decided an easy way to write these tsundere's into stories, why the hell are they so popular? One study that many articles reference point to an idea known as the gain-loss principle. To put it bluntly, a person may expect something better if they are given something bad initially. For example, if a girl has a negative expectation of you, it will slowly become more positive, and each positive they see in you will be more positive to them than maybe others. So by hating on the main character, so by hating on the main character, the love interest will see small positives as somewhat larger small positives, if that makes any sense. Now that we've talked about how there are more articles on how to know if a girl likes you than about tsundere's, what makes a tsundere, how to write one, and how their feelings develop, let's talk about how to screw this up. Though its formula is very simple, it does have quite a bit of room for interesting characters. But there is always a way to screw this up. The first way is to give a very little time for the two to develop any feelings of romance or even friendship. If there is no time for them to develop feelings, Having them get together in the end feels rushed. The other way to screw this up is how the progression goes. If you have a tsundere who does spend time with the main character, that's normally good. But if they mostly hit or hate the main character, then there isn't really any progression made. It will again just feel forced, like no thought was put into it at all. So if you ever want to write a tsundere, make sure the two actually bond over things not just a relationship of abuse or one that comes last minute as a way to make us like the tsundere. So how do you have the tsundere bond with a character if they are meant to have low expectations of them? It's simple. You give them small moments where they are together and have them actually bond over small things like favorite music, colors, activities, whatever. You give them human emotions and human moments. Make them feel real. But that's not to say you can't have random funny moments. All you need to do is balance them out. And you better not screw up the confession scene. If that is screwed up, then you have screwed up a major scene. These scenes can go in two different ways. The two are alone during some romantic moment and it is confessed genuinely, or the tsundere is either alone or in a group and is annoyed by something and accidentally confesses. The latter scene can actually happen during the progression as they could write it off as a slip of a tongue and then you reference it later. As for the former, yes this comes off as very cliched, but it works, so why fix something that ain't broken? To make it work, both characters need to talk to one another. It can start out small, like the main character questioning why they are there, or just doing small talk while the tsundere is contemplating. Then the tsundere will confess, which leads to two situations. The main character accepts it, 
or the main character questions it and possibly rejects it. Both scenarios lead to more interesting scenarios, but I don't want to dictate everything you should and shouldn't do. Hell, you can throw out everything we've said and write it your own way. That's your choice. But the most important thing to do is write them like actual characters and not outlines for one. They need thoughts, dreams, emotions, conflicts, etc. So to recap, soon rays follow the idea that if a girl picks on you, that must mean she likes you. They develop feelings for a character because of the gain-loss principle. There is a formula to write them, but the most important thing is to write them like actual people and not robots. You want the audience to like them to some degree. Now, I've got to spend time with Wolf this Valentine's Day, since he's always alone. But hope you all have a great Valentine's Day, and make sure to treat your partner with care.